Hello, 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 and welcome to this uh, review kind of hints and tips uh, to help you out in Destiny 2. And there will be no spoilers here. Spoiler talks of the uh, campaign. I will say some stuff about it, but I won't. I, one thing I might say about it might be a bit spoilers. Well, it's up to you. But uh, first, the hints and tips. Now, I'm probably going to throw up an image here because you probably can't see this over here on my screen. I got a map pulled up of what is Nessus, but it's pretty much any map you can pull up on any area except for, say, the end area, like the farm, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but you pull up this map and you'll see these symbols. You'll see these, like, kind of plus ghost symbols, these ghost symbols, as well as these, uh, uh, what would be uh, arcs. Like with a dot in the middle, kind of like you know how you had the uh, main mission, like they had staples, but it's kind of staples but with a curvature at the top and a uh, dot. But uh, the ghost symbols are the location areas of the uh, treasure maps. Now, one of my critiques here of uh, what would be considered like a thumbs down in the game would be uh, I finally did this a bit too easily for you to find. Like, there's like no Spoilers, I guess. Uh, there are no ghosts for you to find, at least from what I've seen. And uh, these chests are what would be the ghosts, but they put them on the map, pretty much. Now, the, a lot of them are easy to find. Some of them will be challenges to get to. But, I mean, to find, I mean, you really just pull up the map and boom, go there. But there are a few challenging ones to get to, but most of them are kind of easy. And that's what I want my critiques about this game is that they may be, because once you get them, you can't find them again. You're done with it so now you might be able to do it again on another character but at least with the character that you do it upon they're gone period and they give you three of the uh, reputation tokens that the uh, area that you're in and uh, some glimmer and maybe something else uh, but all in all it's like they made it too easy because I like I can understand if they put, maybe put them on the map and made them all challenging to find and get to but they didn't. So my thought would have been like they would never put them on the map at all. Like, like make it a bit of a challenge to find them. They're just so easy. But there you go. If you gotta see a ghost symbol up on the map, that is an area where a golden chest is. Now on the other symbol, on the arc, those are symbols where you can find lost cities. Again, another thing that's easy to find and kind of easy to do. You know, lost cities are not challenging. They said they were supposed to be like these kind of like mini raids, but. I've soloed all of them. I don't think I've ever teamed up with anybody to do any of these lost cities. And again, they're so easy to find. Again, they're right there on the map. There are some that aren't on the map, I will say that. But the fact that some of them are on the map, it's just like... Like, you made it too easy again. Seriously, they, they dumped it down. Seriously, Destiny, you dumped this stuff down for people. What the heck, man? What the heck, Bungie? What the heck? It, it, seriously, it's just so easy to find all this stuff. Make it no challenge at all, really. I mean, come on, make it some of a challenge. I think that's not that much of a challenge. Uh, uh, talk about the game is the actual story mode itself. The stories are okay, but it's just you can beat it in a day by yourself if you want to really want to grind it. But you can easily beat it in a day with a whole fire team of people once you can actually start, you know, teaming up. So the first three to four missions you have to solo it. But after that, you can team up, and even the end game boss, dude, Gary. When you fight Gary, I mean, it's just so easy to beat him with people. I mean, it was a bit of a challenge by doing it solo, but I did it, like, first bit of the campaign with some teammates, but then the last half of the campaign on my first run with my hunter, soloed it, and it was a pretty good challenge. But, uh, if you really, uh, want to challenge, yeah, do it solo. Don't do it with a team. They didn't balance it out. Uh, I was watching a reviewer at Jericho. Uh, I review a uh, YouTuber, Jericho, and he even said, yeah, it wasn't only that balance. And once I played it with some other people on one of their uh, missions for it, uh, yeah, it was easy. I mean, whoa. Again, Bungie, making this stuff not that hard, not that challenging. Wait a lot of down, Bungie. Now, the good things are about it, it's like, I mean, I'm still playing it, dude. It's like, almost been a week, and I'm having tons of fun of just doing missions or I guess these Avengers to get those done to actually find all these chests to uh, just hang around just do a bunch of uh, the uh, in-game events the uh, public events now my thing is I still haven't figured out all the way to turn 
public events into public heroic events. There's one where it's like there will be a walker and one of those big spider walkers to come out. The way you do that to make it into a public event is uh, once you down him for the first time and his, you know, his next soft spot comes out, he'll drop these three balls and you'll see these like little four spheres with like these two generators next to him. And what you do is you take those three balls and put them into them and there's like these cannons in them. Now, once you get all three cannons unlocked, it'll drop another walker, which is turning into a heroic event. There's also one where it's like there's like they say there's this glimmer drill coming about, and uh, there's like this little machine in the side that you see like beaming the glimmer into the main machine. If you shoot that on each three uh, sections, it'll turn it into the public hero public heroic event, which has like that pile of glimmer you've seen. So there's another one. What I've seen happen a couple times, but I'm not sure how it's done. I think it's if you gotta do it quickly enough. Is uh, there's a cabal drilling machine comes in, and you gotta like, stand it in to secure it. Now I'm guessing what you do is you secure it quick enough to become a public event, but I, I'm not sure how that one works. But it's become public events before. I think, like I said, uh, I think you have to do it quickly enough. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong on that one. There's another one that's I'm not sure how you do it. There's a one with the uh, the uh, Taken, it's an odd one, but interesting to try and find out. But public events are nice. You can probably solo them because I've I've been. That's another thing about uh, I would say a downside so far right now. I'm not sure if it's the people that are just you know jumping into their second or third character or what. But there are a few times I've pretty much played on this game by myself with no team, and I found randoms doing the public events. Yeah, usually I'll just go down, there'll be a public event I'm about to start with some people near it. I'll do that, then I'll fast travel, which is another good thing, good on you bunch for that. It's like if you, there's like a symbol right here, you'll see. Uh, it's like one big arrow pointing down, another smaller arrow like uh, fading in and out on top of it. But that's like a fast travel thing that you can do between these areas, which is thank God for that. Which I think they, I mean, with... The exception of say the EDC it pretty much eliminates the use of a sparrow. I mean, uh, there's the area on time which you really shouldn't use a sparrow because that stuff that's just a big, huge like oil refinery kind of uh, like a big, huge oil. Uh, I'm not sure what they call it. like you know Deep Water Horizon that movie like that big, huge oil thing in the middle of the ocean. It's kind of like a bunch of those on uh, Titan. So yeah, using a spear on that uh, planet is not advised. It's the only area that you shouldn't really use it. The other ones you can on Nessus, Ios, and uh, of course the EDC. EDC is okay, but I'd prefer you know to fast travel and then use it if I need to to get somewhere because the fast travel areas there are like uh, like good spread apart here. I think they're okay as well because there's like one area over here which is called the Tangle on the top left of uh, Nessus that uh. Doesn't have an area to uh, fast travel to, but I mean that's good fast travel to. But uh, back onto the point of uh, the public events, of what I was saying is like I would finish a public event with some people, fast travel to another area to uh, go to another public event, and there's like no one there and nobody shows up, and I'm just soloing it the whole time. Now you can solo a public event easily by yourself, I think, on most of them, but when you try to turn it into a public event, uh, not a public, a public hero event, then. That's the challenge. I've rarely done it on at least with the walkers, but, and that's it. I can do public events solo, but trying to do the heroic public events solo is it's a bit challenging. I'm what light level am I at? I'm currently at light level 268. I can get up myself to 269. I'm close to 270, which I believe currently right now is the max because the max level of light is two, not two, uh, is 300 for when the raid comes out. So you when you get some gear going in that. Like each week, you'll be able to get hit to uh, 80, then to 90, then to 300. Hopefully, by the time the first DLC will come out. But I've I've been having fun, and not to mention I've gotten a good lot of excitement. Cause I actually got the I'm not sure why I gave them, but I got the uh, the uh, achievement for obtaining <coughs> excuse me 15 exotics. Be it uh. uh armor and you know weaponry but I only had 14 and of course that was including the pre-order exotic which I guess it would account but I still I only saw 14 because I had nine guns and uh, five uh, armor 
But I recently got another armor of boots knives, but I've gotten some good exotics. I'm, one I'm really loving the most is the uh, shotgun exotic over here. So you can see that. It's called the uh, Tractor Cannon. Repulsor Force fires force impulse, which is pretty much if there's an enemy within the range of your shotgun, good this good close distance, if you fire it, like they're within the good circle area, they will be thrown the heck back. And um uh, it's nice. I got a. I don't really have that many uh, secondary or I guess, uh, what would this area called? The energy sucks. I have a few, but they're okay. But I have some good uh, uh, connect ones. I got the vigilant swing, the vigilant swing, which I was the first exotic weapon I got from the exotic drop. Uh, I got the stern, which took me a bit of challenge to do. You got There's some exotics you gotta do to. Uh, uh, do like these blue missions on the maps to do and there was one that I did which is another hint and tip there's one here for the Rat King's hand cannon now the Rat King's hand cannon you gotta do uh, enemy, enemy of my enemy blue little mission map on Titan once you complete that to do these challenges you actually have to have a teammate now from all I've seen of youtubers uh, tip about this uh, and as well as you know uh, just online tips about this there's one thing there, I'm not seeing now. It could be a bug on my part. I'm not sure, but it was working after I did this. Now, the thing is, when you do it with a teammate, what I'm seeing, you have to do it with a teammate who also has that quest going on. Because I had... Because what the first thing you got to do is you got to do three... Uh, what is it? Um, uh, not public, what is it? Three... Uh, heka, heka, heka. What are these things called? Uh, patrol missions, that's what it is, so yeah. You gotta do three patrol missions with a fire team of at least, you know, you and somebody else. As well, you can have, of course, up to three, you know, of you and two teammates. But I was doing it when I had it, and it was like not going, but once one of my uh, fire team buddies, abusive, uh, she got the uh, quest herself, and when we did a uh, public. I keep calling it a public event. Once we did a. Uh, uh, what was, I just had it in my mind. I'm sorry. My mind's all over the place. Once we did a patrol mission together, it actually the bar went up. So, from what I'm seeing, not nobody's giving this advice. It's like, you need to have somebody in your fire team who also has this quest. That's what I'm thinking. Now, I could be completely wrong. I have no doubt about that. Could have been glitched, something I wasn't doing right. But, but once my uh, fire team member had the quest, it was starting to go. Now, I guess. Uh, now, for my advices, you have somebody in your fire team with this quest at the same time as you, as you're doing these. Like I said, the first one is you got to do three <clears throat> patrol missions. Sorry, patrol in public. This is just so close to me in my head for some reason. You got to do three patrol missions together. And the next one is you got to do two public events together. The next one is you got to do two crucible matches together. You don't have to win on no matter all. You don't have to do any specific other than just play them. You have to do the. Uh, to uh, crucible. Now the last one, which is the more challenging part, is you've got to beat the nightfall with five minutes remaining on the clock. So you've got to kill a lot of people as quickly as possible and just haul ass through that thing because it is a challenge. Cause we tried doing it our first time and we just got our asses beat. Oh my god, we might have to wait till the next week. Next, till next week's nightfall just to see what it is because it might be less challenging because this one I mean the, I mean there's just it's not just the nightfall you know the being at the nightfall it's the strike itself in which the nightfall is so because there are like two possibly at least two if not more dead spots of where you just gotta haul ass because there's a this it's doing with the cabal mission that's uh pretty much has you on the EDC area going through at one point where it's like you're at the top left of the map if you have unlocked all of the EDC there's like a top left part of the map where there's like a cabal ship falling you gotta pretty much haul ass through that open zone because it's a there's a lot of time goes where you just need to haul ass as well as just kill people but again my advice is if you got this quest unlock and it's not unlocking for you it's probably because you need somebody in your fire team who has it as well I'm not sure if you need to have the same progress going at the same time 
maybe, maybe not, but I think you probably just need to both have the quest, or at least have somebody in your fire team who has completed the quest. Or so, I don't know, I don't know. My well, advice is just make sure you have somebody in your fire team who's doing the quest at the same time. So yeah. The third one, it's, uh, Crucible. Crucible still seems a little uneven from time to time. I mean, a lot of times it seems to be uneven against me, but there are times in which I'm also going to be uploading the one where I just really whooped some my ass, where it was uneven for the other side, because I was just, I at one point was on a 15 kill streak, dude, seriously, and I suck at Crucible, but seriously, I just feel it's still kind of like imbalanced in some way, like it's always like, like, it's always tipped to one side, you know, it's uh, like whatever reason, like when Crucible starts up, it's in favor of one side over the other. I didn't mention there's a part in there that I think is just idiotic and that it's just me. Is that somewhere in the middle of the map there's like a, uh, one of those, uh, what are the weapons called now? One of the power weapons? Yeah, power weapons. The, you know, big guns, you know, shotguns, snipers, bazookas, grenade launchers, whatever. There's like one of those uh, power up uh, ammos in the middle of the map that'll unlock in like five maybe 10 seconds of the match beginning so i find that to be i like to give people that ammo that quickly and it's only that one spot so you actually have to fight over it i mean it, fight over is one thing but still just to give it a, i find it stupid truthfully because the other ones the other two main ones are you know gonna lock in like a minute or so like a minute or more but they have this one that unlock like in five to ten seconds i guess it's ten it's just i find it to be idiotic i think you should have to wait to be able to use that until like at least a minute into the game. I don't think they should give that much power to one side so quickly. That's of course just me. Now this is of course quick play and this have yet to pay the competitive part. So it's probably different there. Now on to uh what else did you think of? Um uh, strikes also. Strikes are okay, they're nice. I'm not sure if it's me what's going on with me alone or if other people are having this issue, but the strike that you played in the beta, which I didn't play, which was it's just, I was playing other stuff, I don't know what you're going to say, why I didn't do it, but, uh, I strike the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but, what was it called? Uh, I don't remember, but the one where you're pretty much on Nessus and you got that big, huge drill thing going on, but I've yet to play that strike in the game, and I've been playing it pretty much a lot. I've probably only, though, played about maybe 20 strikes in general, but still. I've had repeats of, like, like I was doing the one with the, uh, what is it, the big, uh, invisible, like, kind of dude who gets out, I mean, you're facing the end, like, you gotta drive through the lights in the beginning, then fight some people, then drive through more lights in the middle, then fight a walker, but, uh, I, I, like, I played that strike, did another strike, then played that strike again, it's just like, where's the variety, where's the other strike from the beta. Seriously, I've yet to play that strike at all. I don't get it. Seriously. I don't know, though. The other stuff I can give you advice about is, uh, uh, for, uh, getting more, uh, the, uh, redeemable coins for the reputation, uh, like, pick up a, uh, patrol mission, off to the side and like try to go to it as well as like like look for the uh, what would be the material of the area because they're different but they're used instead of like they used to be to upgrade weapons and whatnot excuse me to uh, upgrade your reputation of that area just a little bit just a little bit more but yeah you find those find uh, uh, chest on your way just regular chest here and there like i have a ghost that uh will within 30 minutes in the edc show me the chests and the materials to pick up so i got at least that so you know also look, you know be on the lookout for ghosts like that so you know keep ghosts because they actually have a good better serviceable purpose nowadays with after the the beating of their main game you know they actually serve a main purpose as you unlock more and more of them so yeah keep a uh, bunch of ghosts that you get because they can help you out in the long run. But I don't know, I think uh, here in the end, uh, Destiny 2 is not a bad game. It's nice. 
Uh, we're gonna have to wait till Tuesday for the way to unlock, I guess, as well as Friday to finally get Sir again. They didn't put him out this weekend. We have to wait till next weekend. And if you're wondering what Sir's currency is, if you look, like say you put your characters, uh, let's see, yeah. if you pull up your characters little thing here, just press pause, whatever. At the top, you got the glimmer, the purple stuff, and whatever that white stuff is for the uh, silver chick, which I hate. I want an exotic em emote. I want that, the spicy rum one, because I have this spicy ramen kind of uh, emblem. But yeah, you look up here with the glimmer and everything, and I don't talk about glimmer in a second, because uh, uh, you have that purple stuff where you like. De de Sorry, I thought I was getting a text here. I have the. Doctor Who TARDIS thingy, but if you deconstruct purples or uh, exotics, they will give you that, and that's the new currency for uh, Sir. So yeah, they are used to also uh, power up. Like say you got a 200 piece of armor that you like, and you just got a new armor that was like 215. So you infuse it into your armor. It uses that to infuse. So be careful with that, but I I still got 200. I got like a lot of good armor. Like I said, I'm up to at least 269. If I put my cards right and everything. So yeah, that's the new currency. As well as as I would say, talk about silver. I think they give you silver too easily, and the, now they the way they make it to where you uh use silver, you use silver to uh, add mods to your uh, armor. Use it to, for the infusion. Also, uh, use it to put uh, cows onto your weapons and your armor. But I find that I'm using it less and less, really. You can't buy uh, the uh, ammo caches, whatever, you know, like when you're out of heavy and you open one up and you gotta wait 15 minutes to use it again, kind of thing. Yeah, they've gone away with that because they've made the ammo drops a bit better, at least they have done that, I would say that. But with the glimmer, you, got, you can hold more glimmer, but. I find you get it a lot quicker, but use it a lot less again. Seriously, there's little left to use it for. I mean, there probably holds over for all three uh, people, and I probably use it more so once I start up a second or third character. But seriously, I've been only doing my hunter right now, and it's just I I keep hitting max glimmers so quickly, so often. It's it's a bit of an annoyance, kind of again. It's like it's a currency that. Is the the main currency you're gonna use, but it's just they give it to you so easily and so much. It's just almost what's the point? Seriously, uh, they need to down that amount of glimmer you can get because you just get like I said, you get it too easily. There's, they just make this game too easy. I think is my main issue with it is they make some of the stuff just too easy. Too easy to get a chest. Too easy to find the last sector. Too easy to beat the main campaign. Too easy to get max glimmer. Heck, I almost feel like it's too easy to get excited. Seriously, I have a ton of exotics already, and it's barely the beginning of the game. They've just made it too damn easy, I think. Seriously. I don't know what it is, but like once a day, so far, I've gotten at least a exotic engram drop. I am up to 15 now, at least. Maybe 16, I guess, of exotics. And that's, of course, in count only include, <laughs> including the code heart. Exotic, but uh, yeah. In my end, I'll give it a six, maybe a seven out of ten. But all in all, it's just the reason it is because, in general, I just think they made it too easy. The only thing that's really challenging is the uh, the strikes are a bit challenging. The nightfall is certainly challenging. The raids probably gonna be challenging, and doing the heroic events are kind of challenging. But that's about it. Everything else just seems too damn easy. You get stuff too easily, you beat stuff too easily, it's just... I think they dumped it down a bit too much, seriously. I think they made it... Made the stuff just a bit too easy. But that, I guess, that might just be me. I'm, I'm, I'm not... Like I said, I'm giving it a... I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 because I still quite enjoy it. I mean, the gameplay, I guess the only thing else I can say that's good about it other than the look of it is the gameplay of it. Those two, I mean, those are two big things. I'm not saying there was bad. The story was good, of course, as well. So there's three things. Yeah, story's pretty good. They actually had a good story. A story. The other thing I can honestly complain about is there's like, there's like areas of doors and whatnot you can't go in, but they didn't block them off with, like, say, just a 
door or like make it all glass like there are some areas where it's just like I want to go through oh it's, just, it's glass it's glass they blocked it off with like that darkness shit again and they said oh we're not doing the darkness anymore yet they're in the game those like little block off areas of the darkness where I guess enemies come through or whatever but they're in the game I, they could have probably changed it up to something else like I said probably like have doors where they just come through the door or whatever they just appear there or whatever but they put the darkness in a still kind of thing and found that kind of stupid as well. Like I said, they probably just have it there as a, it's an area where, where it's, uh, enemies are probably going to spawn through. But yeah, all in all, it's good story, good uh, music, good visuals, uh, good, great gameplay, you know. I mean, it, all this stuff that's good about it, I mean, really holds it together, really holds it together above the stuff that I have to complain about of it. It just being too easy. Seriously. They didn't scale the gameplay between one and three people easily. It's like you can beat the campaign so easily. It's so short. Seriously. Not to mention another thing that I found kind of stupid. I could be wrong. I have no disagreement with that. Is that if you beat the campaign and that you're not level 20 once you uh, go around collecting everything, once you complete the campaign, it's like, hey, hey, thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing this. Oh, you beat the guy. Thank you. Here's this. Once you beat the campaign, and I was like level 18, once you go around, like, getting all the stuff they have for you, as well as the, if you're wondering where the uh, pre-order stuff is, it's you have to wait till you beat the campaign and do all the running around and get all your stuff for it. Congratulations. Uh, they will wink your ass up to 20, because you got to be ranked 20, apparently, for your Sparrow, and because uh, I had a team, a team, I had a friend who beat, I uh, didn't beat. He didn't beat the campaign, but he did hit level 20 because he was doing patrols and strikes and whatnot. But he hit 20 and he got a sparrow. It's like, really? So it's not that you beat the game, you gotta hit 20 for you to get your uh, sparrow. Ah, uh, so there, yeah. Sorry. But yeah. All in all, great game, great game. Just, I found some stuff just to be yeah, a bit too easy. I felt they. They compensated the. Easiness with the, you know, all around goodness of what they have of, you know, story, visual, soundtrack, gameplay, and a few things that are challenging against the whole, like I said, finding the lost sectors, finding the golden chest, beating the campaign, getting glamour up to the max so quickly. It's just, I felt they could have balanced a bit better as well as, like I said, the Crucible was, but I feel a little bit balanced, unbalanced, not balanced. Of course, that could just me. I I barely ever played Crucible in the first game because I just I felt the same. I felt it was a bit imbalanced. Granted, most times I could probably get my butt kicked there than I was getting here. But all in all, it's still a good game. I still I mean I'm probably gonna play it up into Destiny Three a bit. Probably not that. Probably not that. I'm probably gonna. It's probably gonna go the same way as uh. Probably not as much as Destiny One because there was like times where I just fell off until the, like the new DLC came out. Because it, it just got overly repetitive there. It's kind of repetitive here. I might get bored of it later on. We'll have to wait and see. But on also put it all around good game. Just I wish they made it a bit more challenging. Like I said, they didn't scale the campaign right and finding all this stuff here once you complete the game just felt too easy. And like I said, if I have to take away about the issue I have with this game is they made some stuff just too easy. But the takeaway of the good stuff is it, it's a good game. It's I'm actually enjoying the grind. I'm enjoying the repetitiveness. And it's all in all fun. It's fun. I'm having fun with this game. But yeah, that's my review of Destiny 2. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're informed. I hope you're entertained. And I hope you have a rock'em, suck'em day. A peace.